Hey, what's happening, guys? Today we are going to do a classic circuit you should know. We're going to simulate it using MultiSim, which is a free online circuit simulator from National Instruments. I'll post the link to it down below, and I will also save this circuit and put a link to it so you guys can play around with it. So, the circuit we are going to do is a single supply. Op amp buffer. Okay. So to start off with, we're going to need an op amp. In this case, we'll just use a standard five terminal op amp. And then we're going to need DC voltage. Uh, in this case, we'll go 10 volts. Now let's go 12. 12 volts, all right. We'll bring that up here, and that is going to go into the positive VCC input of our op amp. And then we are going to need some grounds. So one there for our power supply. And one here for our negative VCC. So in order to make this work, we need a virtual ground, which is basically just going to be half VCC. So we can do that with a voltage divider. So we need a couple of resistors, and we'll make them one meg. Copy it. Make another one. I'm just going to move this. So you guys can get a better idea of what we're doing here. And of course, we're going to need a ground. So I'm connecting our voltage divider to VCC. And now our non-inverting input which is our ground in this case, our virtual ground anyway, goes to that point. Now, just to be safe and add a little filtering, get rid of a little noise, whatever, right off of that ground line, we're going to put another capacitor 100 nano going to ground so now we need our buffer and our buffer goes from the inverting input ah, come on there we go to the output that's it what goes out comes back in so it becomes basically a voltage follower Let's put a load on it. We'll do 100K for our load. And we're going to need one more ground. And then we'll connect our load up. Just like that. So now let's add some detectors or whatever you want to call them. So there's one voltage. Then we also want to see our voltage coming in here. Our voltage on the feedback. And our voltage on the output. So if we engage the simulator here. Here's our voltage coming off the battery, 12 volts. That's our VCC. Here at our voltage divider, you can see we are at just about 6 volts, which is half of VCC. And our output is 5.953, which is the same as this here, 5.953, in our feedback loop. And you can see, I'll stop this, and I'll change our battery. 
Let's make it uh, five volts. And we'll start the simulation. So five volts of VCC, just about 2.5, 2.5, 2.5. Now, if we want to know about current, we can put a little current in here too. That should work right. No, put it in the wrong spot. Dang, damn it. All right, let's see what we got now. There we go. So we're looking at 24.539 microamps. And if we want to see that on the graph, <laughs> very much to see is there. Let's see if we can, uh, I forget how to do this stuff over here. Okay. Yeah, you can play with that on your own if you want. But there is your simple, basic, single supply op amp buffer also known as a unity gain amplifier because there is no gain here as you can see the output yeah, let's get rid of that put our voltage thing back in there so we can, i can show you here oh we can do yeah we can do voltage and current so there you go you can see our output voltage 2.45 three nine is the same as our feedback voltage but what if we changed it what if get that out of there so I changed this one here just so we could see the current as well we're looking at 69.8 so call it 70 nano amps so there is a difference in current but the voltage, as you can see, will stay the same no matter what we do. Come here. And I changed our voltage here. 8 volts, 9 volts, 10 volts, 1 volt. You can see how no matter what we do, the voltage... follows the voltage on the output follows the voltage on the input basically what i'm saying so our input there is 9.7 you have 9.7 9.7 it's always going to stay the same but you do need kind of double the input voltage to make it work so so why do you need a buffer well the buffer uh, let's see do i have drawing tools here oops wrong button in it like annotation tools annotation yeah, it can work anyway what we have here are basically two sides to our circuit we have this part of the circuit over here and whatever is going on over here is shielded from whatever is going on over here the reason we do that is to separate a high impedance part of the circuit from a low impedance part of the circuit you can't see my hands are doing things but anyway yeah it's, it's circuit protection basically it prevents what's going on on this side we'll call this side a and this side b it prevents whatever is going on on side b from affecting what is going on inside A and vice versa. It basically separates your circuits but allows the voltage to remain the same. I hope that makes sense to you guys. If it does, give me a thumbs up. If it doesn't, say something in the comments and you know, we can hash it out and figure out why. Maybe go into a little bit deeper. And now I want to talk to you a few words about Solder Stick, our sponsor for this video. Solder stick offers a few different ways of joining wires and connectors together. We have the butt joints. We have ring and eyelets. And we have spade connectors. 
The solder stick butt joint connectors are really simple to use. You're going to strip off a little bit of the cable, put the wires in there, and use a heat gun or a lighter to melt it. The heat shrink will seal on the outside, and the glue inside there will secure your wires so they can't be pulled apart. You just need to make sure you use enough heat so that everything has to work. These are the number one selling um, heat shrinkable butt connectors on Amazon right now. And I've got a discount for you down below. So check it out. Solder stick. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to everybody for watching. Big thanks to the patrons. And a big thanks to Solder Stick for sponsoring this video. Don't forget, I've got a discount code for you down below. That's it. I'm out. Peace.